Item 31. Given that 1 millimeter equal 1 over 1,000 meters, 2,500 millimeters in meters is clearly here our multiplication factor is going to be 1 over 1,000. So it's going to be 2,500 multiply by 1 over 1,000. Zero is going to cancel out zero here, and zero is going to cancel out zero here. And 25 divided by 10, that's going to give us 2.5. And 2.5 times 1 is just 2.5. So our answer for 31 is going to be P in this case. Item 32 refers to the following diagram, which shows a sector of circle AOB such that AOB equals 60 degrees and OB is R units long. 32. The area of AOB is, now the formula to calculate the area of a sector is going to be theta over 360 degrees times pi r squared. Alright? Now, here, theta in this case is going to be 60 degrees. So it's going to be 60 degrees over 360 degrees times pi r squared. And note that 60 over 360 can be reduced to give us 60 to 60 going to be 1 and 16 to 360 going to be 6. So the area is going to be 1 6 pi r squared, which is going to be a in this case. Item 33. The volume in cubic centimeter of a cube of edge 3 centimeter is. Now one thing about cube, all the edges are the same. They are equal. So the volume is going to equal to length cube. And in this case, the length is 3 centimeter. So it's going to be volume is going to equal to 3 times 3 times 3. So the volume is going to equal to 3 times 3, that's going to be 9. And 9 times 3, that's going to be 27. So it's going to be 27 cubic centimeter. And in this case, our answer is going to be C. Item 34. The perimeter of a square is 48 centimeters. What is the area in squared centimeter? So we know that a square has four equal sides. And we know we can calculate the perimeter of a square by multiplying the, the length of one side by four. So therefore, four times L, which is the length of one side, is going to equal to the perimeter and the perimeter is 48 in this case. Now from this, we can determine what the length of one side is going to be by dividing both sides by four. Now four divided by four will give us one. So on this side, we're left back with L which is equal to 4 into 4, that's going to be 1, and 4 into 4, that's going to be 1, and 4 into 8, that's going to be 2. So therefore, the length of one side of the square is going to be 12 centimeter. 
Now to determine the area of the square, it is going to be the length multiplied by the length. So area, which is A in this case, is going to equal to length times the length. So area and length times length is just length squared. So area is going to be 12 square. And 12 square means 12 times 12. So area is going to equal to 144 squared centimeter. And in this case, our answer is going to be D. Item 35. Which of the following figure, not joined to scale, has an area equal to half times 5 plus 4 times 2 square units? Now note here that each of these shapes are trapezium. And the area of a trapezium is going to equal to one half times A plus B times the height. Right? So that's how you calculate the area of a trapezium. So we know that this two here would represent the height and the four would represent B and the five would represent A, where A and B are just the horizontal length, right? Now, if you look at option A, clearly there is no height on this shape. So A is not the answer. If you look at option B, there is no height again. So B is not the option. Here at C, they give us the height to be 5 over 2. But in the formula, the height is 2. So C is not the answer. So when we look at D, we have the height to be, to be 2. We know that A is going to be 4 and B in this case is going to be 5. So D is going to be the correct answer in this case. Item 36. The area of a rectangle is 53.6 squared centimeter. If the length is multiplied by 4 and the width is half, the and the width is half, the area then would be Now when you think about this, you calculate the area of a rectangle by multiplying the length times the width. Then they give us the area which is 53.6 squared centimeter. It tell us that we're going to multiply the length by four. So we're going to multiply length by four and the width is going to be half, right? So we're going to half this four, which is to divide by two, which is going to give us two here. And this two, we're going to take it to multiply the area, which is 53.6. And two times 53.6, that is going to give us an area of 107.2. So our answer, is going to be C in this case.
Item 37 refers to the following diagram, which shows a sector of a circle with center O. And here you can see the sector. And at the center O, we have 60 degrees, right? Item 37. If the length of the minor arc PQ is 8 cm, what is the length of the circumference of the circle? So we know that PQ is going to be 8 cm, right? Also, we know that this sector, which is POQ, right, is a fraction of an entire circle, right? So if we were supposed to complete the circle here and go around, and we have the entire circle. Now, this sector is just a fraction of it. Now, the entire circle would have a total amount of 360 degrees. So, this 60 degrees is a fraction of it. So, what we are going to do is to see how many groups of 60 degrees can we get out of 360. So, we're going to have 360 divided by 60. And 60 into 60, that's 1. And 60 into 360, that's going to be 6. So we have 6 groups of 60 degrees. Remember that the length of the arc for one group of 60 degrees, that's going to be 8. So the length for the entire circle is going to be 6 times 8, which is going to be 48. So the circumference of the circle is going to be 48 centimeter. And that answer would be C in this case. Item 38. The area of a triangle is 30 squared centimeter and its base is 10. What is the height in centimeter of the triangle? So we know that the formula that we use to calculate the area of a triangle is going to be base times the height over 2, which is equal to the area. And the area, right? Now we know the base here. So the base here is going to be 10. So it's going to be 10 h over 2 is going to equal to the area and the area in this case is going to be 30. Now 10 divided by 2 that's just going to be 5. So on this side we're going to left back with 5h is equal to 30. Now to find what h is, we just need to divide both sides by 5. So if we divide this side by 5 and this side by 5, then h is going to equal to 30 divided by 5, which is 6. So the height is going to be 6 and that answer is going to be a. Item 39 refers to the following histogram, which shows the number of children age 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 who took part in a survey. And here we have the histogram. And on the vertical axis, we have number of children. And on the horizontal axis, we have the age of the student. So let's try to interpret what this is saying. So one children age would be eight, right? Based on the graph. Two children age here would be six. Three children age here would be four. And four children age here would be five. And five children age here would be seven. Now, 39, what was the modal age? 
Now the modal age is which one appear most? And clearly, five children, right, out of the survey was age seven. So age, the modal age is going to be seven here. So our answer is going to be C. Item 40 to 42 refers to the following diagram, which shows the cumulative frequency curve based on the marks of 200 students who took a driving test. And as you can see here, the graph, the cumulative frequency is on the y-axis and the mark is on the x-axis. Now question 40. The median mark scored by the 200 students is now median means the middle score right now because it's an even number which is 200 students we know that the median is going to fall between 100 and 101 which is going to be 100.5 right so here we know that this is 40, then this is 80, this is 120. So right here at this point here, we're going to have 100. So 100 and 100.5 is going to be just above this dark line here. So what we're going to do is to draw a horizontal line going across. And where it touch the, the graph, we're going to draw a line going down. So we're going to draw a line going straight down. And my lines are not perfect. Now, we know that here this is 20 and here this is 30 so that means this would be 25 so up to this line here that's 35 and that's about 30 this seems about 37.5 so the median score here is going to be about 37 point five right so our answer for question 40 is going to be b thank you for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe